head and neck cancer. This is one of a series of cancer videos found on the website aboutcancer.com. This will talk about symptoms, anatomy, and cause of head and neck cancer. Histology, these are generally squamous cancers. We'll talk about CT PET imaging and how this affects the staging system and a general overview of treatment for this disease. This cancer is generally caused by smoking or alcohol. There are more patients who get cancer related to HPV infection that are non-smokers. Sun exposure can cause lip cancer and reflux may cause larynx cancer. Patients who have an HPV related cancer have a more favorable outcome than those people who have smoking related cancers. The most common sites are shown here, throat, tongue, larynx, and mouth. Note that these cancers are much less common than lung cancer or breast cancer in a given year. And in fact, the odds of developing one of these cancers is quite small, particularly in women where the odds are less than 1% as noted. The median age is 62 for mouth cancer and the age distribution shown here. Larynx cancer a bit older at 65. Similar age distribution as noted. The stage in survival is shown here for mouth cancer. Many of these present patients present with local or regional disease and have a reasonable outcome. Patients with larynx cancer are even more likely to present with early or local disease because of a hoarse voice will bring this to the attention of the doctor earlier rather than late. The anatomy of the oral cavity or mouth is shown here. There are a number of sites that can be affected by cancer. The most common sites, however, are the tongue, the floor of the mouth, and the inside of the cheek. Most patients have a non-healing sore or ulcer in their mouth and many patients present with swollen lymph nodes in the neck. In order to look at a PET CT, it's important to understand the cross-section anatomy through the mouth or tongue as shown on these diagrams. A typical PET CT is shown here with cancer of the tongue. A PET scan uses radioactive glucose and the cancer will light up or change colors on a PET CT. A patient with an obvious tumor in the front of his tongue is shown here and the corresponding PET CT that goes with it. The staging system for oral cancer, uh, cavity cancer, is shown here. Based on the T or tumor size, the N or lymph node size and number, and these are combined for the staging system. Cancer of the pharynx, there are three different sites, upper, middle, and lower. The upper part of the pharynx, the throat, is called the nasopharynx behind the nose. This cancer is uncommon in the United States. Symptoms include nasal congestion, hearing problems, skull pain, numbness in the face, and often lymph node swelling in the neck. Cancer of the oropharynx is more common in the U.S. This is the cancer seen in non-smokers due to HPV infections. The tonsil and base of tongue are the most common site and a sore throat, pain radiating into the neck, and trouble swallowing, and lymph node enlargement are common. Here's a typical appearance of a tonsil cancer. Here's a typical PET CT of a base of tongue, left tonsil cancer. Here's a visible lesion in the right tonsil and the corresponding PET CT that goes along with it. The staging system is similar to oral cavity cancer. The T is based on the size of the tumor, the N on the number of nodes and the size of the lymph nodes, and these are combined to form stages. Note that there are three stage fours for A, B, and C. So a patient with more than one lymph node, this patient, tonsil cancer, two lymph nodes makes him N2 and that makes him stage 4A. This is still curable, however, despite being stage 4. Hypopharynx is the lower part of the throat or pharynx, less common. Piriform sinus is the most common site. Patients have trouble swallowing or hoarseness or a lump in the neck or swollen lymph node. There are extensive lymph nodes noted throughout the face and neck. There are deeper lymph nodes in the throat as well. They're often divided into different levels. Level 2 and 3 are the most common. PET scans will show these lymph nodes quite nicely in this patient with advanced base of tongue had cancer in multiple lymph nodes as shown here. This patient had a large visible left neck mass from a swollen lymph node and the corresponding PET CT. Larynx anatomy is shown here. Again, there's an upper or supraglottic larynx. The supraglottic larynx commonly involves the epiglottis and patients present with a sore throat 
or trouble swallowing, cancer of the vocal cords present with hoarseness, and occasionally with swollen lymph nodes. Typical laryngoscopy view of cancer in the front of the larynx is shown in the middle panel and the corresponding PET CT that goes along with it. A more advanced cancer involving the whole left vocal cord is shown here, the view on a laryngoscopy, and the PET CT that goes along with it. The staging system for larynx includes whether the cord is movable or mobile or paralyzed. It also includes the lymph nodes, and again these are combined to form different stages. The best advice on treating cancer is often found on the website of the National Comprehensive Cancer Network. This is a network of academic cancer centers. Their website is accessible at nccn.org. It's quite complicated and patients should ask their doctor to review with them the current site that would apply to them. It's quite comprehensive and includes multiple sites in the head and neck area and has very detailed treatment algorithms or protocols. Again, the patient should have his doctor review this with him. There is a patient-friendly website from the NCCN at nccn.com as shown here. In general, the treatment for cancer of the head and neck, the early stages have surgery or radiation. The more advanced stages, surgery and post-op chemo radiation or chemo radiation alone. The best advice is to have a team of physicians, an experienced surgeon with a reconstruction team, a radiation oncologist with modern technology such as tomotherapy, a medical oncologist who may prescribe chemo or targeted therapy. The multidisciplinary team and support team can include multiple doctors, particularly dental care. All the details are found on the website aboutcancer.com as well as other videos and links to other websites.